Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to derive a relationship between focal length f and a radius of curvature r which is given by f is equal to r by 2. And this particular derivation is from the chapter ray optics and optical instruments. As you see here, this is the diagram required for our derivation. Let me explain this diagram with the starting with this derivation. Now, the right side of this diagram represents the given concave mirror, this particular part, which is shaded on the other, other side so that the incident ray should reflect back or else it will refract. Now, LM represents the incident ray on the mirror at the point M which is on the surface of the mirror. Now, the incident ray is reflected back which is passing through the focal length F. C is the center of curvature and CP is the principal axis. Now, as all we can see here, LM is the incident ray parallel to principal axis. Now, the direction is represented here. Now, for our derivation, let us modify this particular concept into a mathematical way where we can derive a relationship. Now, now onwards, whatever I draw is for the purpose of understanding or purpose of deriving. As we all know, there will be a normal which is passing through the angle of incident and angle of reflected ray. And that normal here is the CM. And as we know, the angle between the incident and the normal is theta. Let me represent here. And the angle between the in normal and the reflected ray is also theta. Now, L, M, C, the angle is theta. So, M, C, P, this angle is also theta. Why? Because L, M and C, P are parallel line and they are alternating oppo alternatively opposite angles. Now, C, M, F is also theta. Now, because of all these angles, we can see that L M F L M F represents two theta. This is one theta. This is another theta. So L M F represents two theta. And from the same concepts of alternatively opposite angles, we can say that L M F is two theta. So M F P is also two theta. We have constructed CM normal so that we have get to know what is this angle this is theta and this is theta and because of alternatively opposite angles MCP is theta now LMF is 2 theta so MFP is also 2 theta I hope you can understand the the part which I have done now now another construction line is required which is perpendicular from point M to principal axis. Let us mention this as give annotation as D. Okay. Now our part of construction is done up to the mark. As I said, do the required thing necessary from the solid line and the construction part from the dotted lines or the cutted lines what I have done here. Now moving further. As I said you, the angle L M C is equal to theta. You can see here L M C is equal to theta. So, this is also equal to M C P. Why is this? As I told you, this is because of alternate angles. Basic geometry. Now, you know using law of reflections from this law lmc lmc theta is also equal to cmf is equal to theta the angle of angle between the incident and the normal is theta then the angle between the normal and the reflected is same as the that angle so theta and here also theta and this will become 2 theta on adding now Therefore, LMF is equal to M 
F P is equal to two theta L M F and M F P. Same reason. The reason is same. That is, they are alternative angles. Now, from the triangle, from triangle M C D, M C D, we can write tan theta. See. M C D. Here there is theta. Tan theta is nothing but opposite by adjacent. Opposite. Here the theta M C D is what we are considering. Please look at here. M C D is what we are considering the triangle. Theta here. Tan theta is the theta. Ah, uh, the opposite divided by adjacent. The opposite here is M D. Divided by adjacent C D. I hope it is crystal clear. Now, again from the triangle. Now we completed this triangle again from the triangle M F D. This triangle M F D. What do we have here? It's two theta M F D. Two theta again tan two theta, two theta is equal to opposite that is M D divided by here F D adjacent adjacent is F D opposite is M D. Take this as equation one. Take this as equation two. Now divide equation two divided by equation one. Tan two theta divided by tan theta, and there will be an approximation done here. What is that approximation? Approximation is for small angles. For small angles, tan theta can be written as. Approximately given by this theta and tan two theta can be given as approximately two theta. From this, what we have theta is equal to m d by c d. Why? Because we consider tan theta as theta and two theta is equal to m d by f d. I won't write that again. Now divide two by one. Two theta divided by theta is equal to m d by f d whole divided by. Let me take this up. M d by c d. This is from equation two and this is from equation one. What we are left? We are left with. Let me write here. Two is equal to. M D by F D into C D by M D. M D M D cancels each other. Let me continue here. M D M D cancels each other. Now two is equal to C D by F D. Now what is C D? From the point center of curvature to the D. And what is F D from the point focal length to D? And here again another assumption is done. What is that? That is D. The distance between the D and the point P is too small. So we compare D. The distance F D and C D is equivalent to C P and F P. This is equivalent to C P by F P. Now, from basic concepts of ray optics, you know what is CP? The distance from center of curvature to P. That is R, and what is FP? Distance from focal point to P. That is F. Now, from this, F is equal to take this and this here. F is equal to R by two. We obtain the final derivation. You can watch all our videos in the class twelve physics playlist. Explain briefly everything. Now, from this derivation, we learned the relation the relation between f is equal to r by two, which is the relation between focal length and the radius of curvature. So, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you.